for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports. Jim Nance saying so long for now. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's Ryan's Falcons going up against Newton's Panthers. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week 16 matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports, a matchup in the NFC South as we join you from the Georgia Dome. Hello, friends, and uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Jim Nance and Phil Sims getting set for kickoff, and hope you're having a great holiday season. We've got some football coming your way. Yeah, we do. I think these teams, both of them, Jim, when they talked to us, they were not going to let the holiday a spirit or the distraction of the holiday get in the way of preparing and being ready to play today. I think both are ready to put on a good show. So that means Ted Ginn will be back for the opening kick. The top team in the NFC will start today on defense. They'll be kicking it away here. This game is underway. And this is Ginn running it out. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Newton's a player to watch today. He has thrown for over 2,500 passing yards on the season. I think when you have the talent that Cam Newton has, no matter what you do, people are going to undervalue it. So they, they look at him, they see all that talent, and they just think he's going to win the Super Bowl every year. Well, it's a team game, and it doesn't work that way. The Panthers from the 22. Brown's got it on a pass that had some heat. Going to take it the distance. The 10, touchdown! You never know with the talent of these guys nowadays. Little short passes. You think they're harmless, and look what happens. They got so much talent all the way down the field for the score. Extra point was good.
he'll have a chance to take off. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. Ryan's going to be the man at the helm today. Eight years of seasoning for this quarterback. Matt Ryan had a really good last year, even though he didn't get the protection by his offensive line. So he proved to everybody, even though he's not a speed guy, he can stand in that pocket under pressure and make plays. Ryan gives it up. Freeman's marked down at the 34. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so you keep crowding that line of scrimmage, look out, they'll throw it over the top. The Panthers' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Freeman's got it on the handoff. Here's our look at the Falcons' lineup. Their passing numbers on the year are just dreadful. The Falcons have a third down coming up. They did a great job a week ago of converting on third down. Third and two. Got a big lane. Ryan will avoid the hit and slide down. Good job that time by the quarterback sliding. The team, you are valuable to them throwing the football, not running. Slide before you take that hit. Two tight ends on the field here. First down and 10. Freeman's going to take the handoff now. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Smith lined up as the single back. Breaks free. Breaks free. Tackles made, and that'll move the chain. Smith's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First down at the 35. And now Ryan's going to take off. Lester's there that time for the tackle. That's a nice job that time by the quarterback. He's forced out of the pocket, and when he moves, he's excellent throwing the football on the run, and he gets the completion. First and ten. Freeman's taking the handoff. And Keithley in on the tackle. Freeman's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Quick drop back. Ryan's running away from the pressure. Makes the catch. Touchdown. They've tied the game as this first quarter is winding down. I'm sure they're thrilled not to have to start the second quarter facing a stiff uphill climb. Oh, absolutely. you got to be thrilled to be tied at this spot right now. The defense has been a little shaky here early in this football game, but the offense, great job of bouncing back and getting TD. Got a tie game here now, and what's been a good one so far? The score's 7-7. Seven to seven. Brown's going to test the coverage here. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Welcome back, folks. We're getting set for the start of the next quarter. The Panthers' offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. A solid touchdown drive. Yeah, what a productive day so far for the offense. They're mixing it up well. They got confidence. The quarterback's throwing it well. This is a, a very good game so far. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. Second and eight. Good coverage by Trufant that time as the pass goes incomplete. 
That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. The Panthers take it from the 23. Tell you what, it hasn't taken too long for both of these defenses to assert themselves. This already has the look of a game that's going to wind up being won in the trenches. Well, we found out talking to both of these teams during the week, they're sick of all this offense in the NFL. Man, they wanted to come out and make a statement, and both teams have done that so far. Set up return. Here he goes. He's going to be tackled right around the 46-yard line. The Falcons go. There's three parts to every football game. Offense, defense, and special teams. What a play for the special teams here. Good punt return, good blocking. They get it done. First down at the 46. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. Set up now at the 37. We're back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning in the first half. Second and one. Freeman's handing the football. Tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Freeman's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First down at the 34. The reception by Julio Jones. Nice job that time by the runner. Gets out of bounds after the play. You got under two minutes and... You need to stop the clock, so he gets it done. Ryan's three for three with that completion. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. That's his first reception today. Well, if you guard the tight end close, it, it, sometimes that doesn't matter. They're so big and they got long arms, they can still make the catch. Quarterbacks give them a chance, they get it done. Freeman's going to secure the handoff. He'll pick up seven this time. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Second down coming up. The Falcons have really been dominant today on the offensive side. In the red zone now, they just take the football and they run it right at the defense and pick up solid yards. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. The defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line. And throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, when you get close to the goal line, you always have to look out for the tight end because anytime there's a, just a little bit of deception, that deception is enough for the tight end to get that area where he can get open. That time he does it, touchdown. The point after is good. The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. This is Ginn running it out. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Cam Newton taking the field once again. With as well as he's played in the first half, you wouldn't necessarily expect them to be trailing at this point, but they are. No, you wouldn't, but you just hope he can continue that good play. That's what they're going to need from him. They have a chance to win, but so far, so good. Really looks good executing the passing game. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it, and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The first half is complete. Larry Ridley is ready to take things over back in our studios. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Now let's get to it. Both teams have done enough to be leading here to this point, but in a close game, you know the second half is going to have some more twists and turns, which should lead to some excitement. 
taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Panthers' defense finds themselves trailing here, Phil, but a stop right out of the box to start the second half could swing the momentum for their side. It could, Jim. You know, at halftime, when your team is losing, usually on the offensive side, they're going, okay, guys, let's do this and that. On the defensive side, it's all about yelling, give us more energy, play harder, be tougher. So that's what I expect from the defense right here. Second down and 13. Ryan's on the move. Jones got it. First down. Breaks out of the tackle. That's reception number two for him. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. Ryan, six for six now with that completion. Freeman's tackled down after a gain of two. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. The 37 is the line of scrimmage. You got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short gain. Feeds him again. In the end, it picks up only a yard. The Falcons had a very good run game last week, but it hasn't been the same today. Freeman's been unable to find the same type of running room he had last week, Phil. Yeah, listen, this defense did a tremendous job scouting this offense, and they knew it. They wanted to stop the running game. They have done it. Now the offense has got to change up what they're doing. Makes the catch. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Good job by the defense. Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle. And now we have fourth down coming up. The offense is still on the field right now. Fourth down, and they'll need to pick up two. Falcons step up to the line, employing now their jumbo package. He's tackled right at the 24. Well, you got a small lead in the second half, but you go for it on fourth down. That is a risky proposition, but the head coach took a big sigh of relief over there on the sideline because they picked it up. Good job by the offense. First down at the 24. Throws the pass. Devontae Freeman with the reception. The Falcons, they never back off. That first down, they got a small lead here in the second half. What are they looking to do? They're looking to march this football down the field and score. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Smith's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Smith's got it on the handle. It's been all about the defenses today as we welcome you back to the action. They're able to move the chains after that last run. The clocks really become a factor. And he's in for the touchdown. That touchdown may have given them all the points they need to put this game away, partner. Well, they've controlled it almost from start to finish, Jim. So that drive was impressive. Now let's see if their defense can just finish it off. If I had to guess, I like their chances. The Falcons were very effective on that scoring drive, especially via the pass. Over 50 passing yards on that scoring drive. And this is Ginn running it out. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Falcons with a nickel look here on defense. Newton won't risk a hit here as he slides. It's not as easy as it looks. That quarterback, good job of sliding before he takes the hit that time. Cam Newton takes it from the shotgun. Jonathan Stewart with the catch. 
the defense. They have a lead here in the fourth quarter, so they're willing to give up short pass completions, but good job by the offense. Third and short following the completion. The Panthers get a first down. Falcons lead, and all you have to do is look at the turnover ratio, and that tells the story, Phil. It sure does. And listen, everybody calls them turnovers. But let's look at this game here. I call it takeaways. They are taking the football away from the offense. What a job by the defense. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in this one, and time is running out here in the fourth quarter. Now first and ten. And it's caught by Stewart. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Always try to save the timeout or timeouts when you can. And one way to do it is go to the hurry-up offense. Good job. And it's out of bounds incomplete. This is a crucial third down play coming up. Newton's lined up. No extra blockers for this snap. Out of the shotgun. And the pass is picked off. And that will all but do it. Newton's in a whole lot of pain right now. We'll take an injury timeout and be back in just a moment. The Falcons take the field again on offense. They'll be looking for a repeat of their last drive. They came away with a touchdown and really had the defense on its heels. Well, it's going to be hard to repeat what they just did because it looks so easy and it was well done by their offense. And I think when you talk about situations like this, it really comes down to one thing. Can the offensive line continue to dominate? Following that timeout, defense back out on the field. Second and six coming up. Freeman's going to take the handoff now. The Panthers decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. This is third down. Matt Ryan under center. Another carry here. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Going for it on fourth down. Back at the line. They're going for it on fourth. The Falcons now move the chains. Give no surprise there. You got the lead. It's late in the game. You run the football. Make that clock keep ticking. And you go over these situations so many times in practice. You got to manage the clock. No much time you got left. They've done that well. And just keep running it. Not managing the football game. That's why they ran the football right there. Not a big game, but sometimes you have to be predictable. You have the lead. You're trying to get rid of the clock. You got to run it. Second down and eight. He rips it right out of the wide receiver's hands. They face third and eight after failing to connect on that last pass play. They bring in the extra tight end. Dropping back three. And now Ryan's going to take off. Roddy White on the receiving end. Touchdown, Falcons. My second touchdown of the game. Well, that touchdown just put the icing on the cake, Jim. Whatever you want to say, because now the lead's too big. Not enough time for the other team to come back. Great job by the offense. The Falcons for the extra point. Add the extra point. The kick is good. 
The Panthers have their backs to the wall as they give up a score they could not afford to yield. The score's 28 to 7. Brown's going to test the coverage this time. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Panthers take the field on offense. They have been manhandled here throughout today, Phil. And what can they take out of these last few minutes that could be positive for them? Well, you know, Jim, in a situation like this, there's really nothing you can do now that's going to make you feel better or give you something to carry over into next week. So don't be looking for it. Try to end the game and just know today the team on the other side beat you up and they were the better team. The Panthers take it from the 23. Jonathan Stewart with the catch. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. Newton's completion percentage, 60% on the day. Olson's got the catch and the first. They'll go to the hurry up here as the clock runs. And now he spikes it. The Falcons' defense now is going to go nickel. The Panthers have it at the 34. Got hit on release. It'll be third down. One more snap and we can call it a day. And that's Trufant who almost had the interception. The Panthers put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. Fields it cleanly and starts his return. That's a pickup of 14. It's getting so late in the year, but this undefeated season remains intact, even with all the attention. Yeah, getting all that attention, and now it's just going to get more and more because it's becoming, well, it's looking like it, it could become reality. Can you go undefeated? That's one thing. Then the pressure gets greater. Can you do it during the playoffs? For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.